Hey, hey, Fawn, Raptor, coming up on me stream. It is their turn to play. It's the hot seat. We got Yoshi and we got Duck Hunt. Yo, she wants to win today because the way that I saw them going Mario earlier, <laughs> trolling me. And then yeah. against King, she went Mario. And I mean, sorry, she went Duck Hunt. And now here they are. They want, I think that was low-key them who was kind of happy John was out because we see the Fawn and John numbers match up so many times. So something a little bit different, maybe mm -hmm. really refreshing to them. All right, coming here in on winner's semis. We are on small battlefield. This is definitely one of Fawn's better stages as Duck Hunt. This yes. is where she is so good at setting up the presence, the obstacle course, as I always call them, where it's just like, you know, you have a can on one lane. You have to worry about clay pigeon. You have to worry about the cowboys coming through. Like, it's just there's so much to deal with. Now, of course, Yoshi does have the aerial mobility and the super armor to really contend with these uh, these various lanes that Fawn's able yep. to set up, but, you know, you're gonna have to find your way in eventually. And also, there's a battle of some of the best up airs we have in the game. Duck Hunt up air, very big, lasts a really long time, and of course, Yoshi up air needs no introduction. It's a very, one, because it's one of the best up airs in the game as well. So it's a matter of who can control the aerial space, at the same time, who is gonna be able to control the ground space, and right now, it is Fawn, Fawn. looking like they're able to really utilize all of the tools in Duck Hunt's kit, the can, frame one, by the way, Clay Vision, also frame one, mm -hmm. by the way, and then the gunman for extra damage. Now, that combo, very, very nice. There's a great snipe from Raptor on the can, getting Fawn in a little bit of disadvantage, but once again, it is Fawn with the stage presence and coming through below the platform. Gotta watch out for the Sombrero Bandito. That is the one that is probably gonna be killing around now, around this percentage. And Lil Poth, the can give me threatening that aerial space, forcing the double jump coming in from Raptor. Raptor at one, almost 160%. Has to be super careful here. You have to maneuver on the can, you have to maneuver on Clay Pigeon, the, the gunman, even the egg. I don't even think took care of the gunman in, at, at all. So they're still active. Like you said, some Burrow Man will be the strongest one here, but not gonna be him taking the stock. Instead, Fawn taking it uh, the first stock, only two minutes in. Yeah, and you mentioned forcing Raptor to double jump early. That is such a huge factor in this matchup. Yoshi, so difficult to edge guard because of that, you know, the super armor oh, wow. and of course the space that he can take with egg toss. But if you're able to take away those resources without even having to like commit to going off stage, like Fawn is looking really good in this matchup right now. Oh, excellent forward air extending it off of the uh, the cowboy. <laughs> if you keep hitting it, he doesn't Leave go away. Alone. If you keep hitting it, he doesn't go away. But extending the forward air off of the hitbox of the of the gunman on Fawn and then getting the connecting up there, very smart all around. That kind of puts a, uh, not a, a dent, but just a slight flaw in Fawn's plan of staying behind the gunman like that. Not getting the second clay pigeon, unfortunately. Raptor living to tell the tale has to contend with the can. It is always there. It is an ever-present threat when Fawn is on screen. Oh my god. Just oh. Shielding just in time oh. for Raptor. But getting put off stage once again forces that early double jump, but still the egg toss able to create that space for Raptor, keeping him safe. Raptor's maneuvering. I, I want to commend Raptor trying to maneuver around the space, hence why Yoshi's aerial, uh, aerial positioning is so superior to a lot of the other rest of the cast. But the way that Fawn is able to manipulate the can into every airspace that Raptor's trying to go through, it makes that it makes it so much harder for him to play the Yoshi game, which is that near off shield, which is egg lay, which is um, egg tossing, double jump, and, and up airs. Everything is and nothing is working. <laughs> Everything and nothing is working. Even when Raptor like finds neutral wins and finds stage positioning, the can is there. It is the second or the third player rather. All right, the Sheriff not quite finding his mark, but a Clay Pigeon into back air, putting Raptor in a terrible terrible position. No resources online, no double jump, has to find his way onto solid ground. All right, they're falling to the Clay Pigeon once more, getting off stage at 146%. Fawn again, pretty much two socks uh, to one right now. This makes it a lot harder for Raptor to even find an, an edge and an advantage here. He is completely oh and utterly you know, taken aback by this can and Clay Pigeon. And as I say that, it's the can who takes this game. It's the third player. I had to get a swig of that Coke real fast. Absolutely. Sure. The Sugar Rush is going to go crazy and probably needs it a little bit here. What do you do against one of the best duck hunts in the world who knows how can works, who knows how to utilize Clay Pigeon to the fullest extent? 
um, who puts down these very smart, <coughs> smartly placed cow, uh, cowmen and gunmen, where you can't even approach without them being in the way. Without getting shot at in the Wild Wild West. <laughs> the Wild Wild West. All right, coming in to PS2 as Raptor's counterpick. I, I do think I agree with this as a uh, counterpick because, uh, you know, Raptor is going to have a lot more space to roam around. The stage presence of Fawn that we saw in game one is not going to be like, it's not going to take up the same percentage of yep. stage that it did on Small Battlefield. Yeah, you have so much more space to run around with, run around in, and at the very least, you're not confined to uh, yeah. to the Small Battlefield area of cans run right in front of me, I can't go here, I can't go there, I can't go nowhere. So I feel like Raptor is doing a little bit of a better job here. As you can see, the percentage is getting much more even. Fawn having to use the can more defensively than offensively in that situation to get everyone away from one another. Yes, that being said though, Fawn's still trying to set up those very familiar lanes, getting the oh. throw into the can for more damage and setting Raptor up at the ledge. A third one? Can we see four? Can we see four? Right. Uh, can we see four? Mm, it's oh, coming! Oh, nah, going the wrong way. Going to be hitting Fawn instead. Going to be eating a little bit of that shield damage. And that, I think that was what Raptor needed. Ooh. The up there going to be negating any... Oh, that was so good. That was so good, actually. Raptor just converted that into his favor so well. Yeah, Fawn trying to find some space for herself at the ledge with that up air, but unfortunately just not quite able to find the reversal, and Raptor is able to complete that edge guard sequence. <laughs> Oh, it's coming! <laughs> no, the way that Yoshi be ju double jumping and it's like he's struggling to get away <laughs> from the can was killing me in this he moment. He looks scared. He's like, oh my god, it's coming, it's coming. Don't worry, something else will get you. Do not worry. I will say, the game looks much more even here with all this extra space to, to, for Raptor to really utilize in his favor. All right, fighting his way in with the neutral air, but right into another grab. Fawn's able to find another can confirm. Oh, but uh, no tech from Fawn, potentially giving Raptor a little bit more damage here. Okay, can on shield, not gonna All do right. really much there, but we're gonna go for a dash attack instead, trying to go for a really cheeky fair, uh, fair likely the spike, but Fawn able to come back to stage, going for the back throw once more, and Ooh. beautiful air dodge out of the situation from a Raptor, giving him a lot more uh, chances of living. Oh, oh, oh! And oh. Miss Tech, where are we going? That's unfortunate. Unfortunately, Raptor without a double jump, he's not going to be making it back out of that scramble, but just kicking the can. All right, we're going for further kick on uh, on the ledge, going to be sending damage. Fawn off into the air. The can going to be saving her right here, but the Nair going to be coming in once more. Oh, wow. Trying to contend some space <gasps> with the egg toss, maybe try and swat the can away, but Fawn, so smart with her can placements, it's just so much you have to contend with at ledge. She's so difficult to track down. I feel kind of bad for Raptor only because you have so many things to worry about. You gotta get rid of the cowboy or avoid the cowboy, you to avoid the canyon, Ooh. to avoid the free one clay pigeon if you're too close to Fawn. And then that beautiful poke factor of Duck Hunt also makes everything just a tiny bit more difficult to really get in range for. And there's a cam once again going in in Fawn's favor. And then you just very, very nice wrap up with the forest smash on the ledge. And that sets up um, Fawn going throughout winner, sending Raptor into losers, which we already talked about before was a bit scary That's down scary. there. A little bit scary down there. Yeah, that is actually going to be Fawn moving on into winner's finals, where I believe they're fighting Melly. Uh, yes. 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 That is correct, which is Duck Hunt, Duck Belmont. Hunt, Belmont. Very interesting. <laughs> it's definitely a matchup. Very excited to see. Oh, this, that was, a, was, this was so unfortunate. So unfortunate. I, I, I can't even... Um, if you had just teched that, we would have been... But it was honestly... I wouldn't have teched it either, because I wasn't expecting there to even be a tech situation in the first place. So yeah. it's like, I can't imagine... <clears throat> When you're in the middle of some like of heated battle like that, where it's like, oh my goodness, what do I do? You know. Uh,